Ready, go. Alrighty, ladies and gents, welcome to yet again another video. It is speed day today. We're on the shoulder roll vector from the high attachment parallel table. Uh, I think it's what, five, six? I'm not even sure, I've lost count. Maybe five weeks, five or one at maxes to go till uh, Zloty Tur time. You saw last night I was training with Lachlan Adair and my ready goes are starting to really ramp up. Um, not only am I training well physically right now, but I'm really getting my head into the space of WAF style starts. I want to say WAF, I know this isn't WAF, this is PAL, so what I mean is European style starts. They're very different to WAL uh, with all that preload and more about just slow moving power. There's a lot more of the aggression in the central nervous system hit. Uh, so amping up on a bit of caffeine and getting ready like that and just banging it out is what's going to be required over there. So by the time I get to Zloty in Poland, um, I'm going to have done a lot of ready goes predominantly with Lachlan just to fire up the central nervous system. But it's speed day today. We are on the shoulder roll, which is a, I guess let's call it the finishing move for a match that gets stuck halfway between a victory and a loss. And um, yeah, let's see what it is. Uh, this was a vector that Todd and I used the towel for. Um, the one at max on this one wasn't so spectacular because it was, a, I think, the last one at max that we did um, in that crazy two weeks whilst Todd was here. So numbers, I think, were a little low on that, but I'll chuck on a fair bit of weight today. We'll do some speed and uh, we'll look forward to Wednesday where I'm going to kill yet again another one at max. All right, let's go do it. Alrighty guys, so you can see the setup here. We've got the high attachment. We've got, uh, I've just got a warm up weight on there at the moment. I've just got, uh, how much have I got? 16 kilos on there at the moment. Um, and then, then the band is gonna come in. So the rules of speed day, if you have forgotten them, um, is that we don't start from a dead start. We pick the weight up and then start the rep. So um, the shoulder roll, I'll grip it quite high so that the band tension comes in and then Get into the shoulder roll, you can see the band is now in attention. And it will be one, two, three. That's what it's gonna be like. So interestingly, the band, oh, let me do that again because the band, I didn't have my uh, peak force measurement on. Let's see how much that the band adds to it. So it's 17 kilos loaded. One, two, three. And peak force, oh, I only went from 17 to 18. So maybe I need to tighten up this band because there isn't enough band tension on it yet. Um, but that's gonna be the setup. I'm gonna do some warm ups and then we'll get underway with the weight. My one at max on this one, what is it? Let's have a look. 45 kilos right. So I'm gonna work with 50% of my one at max uh, plus band is basically where I'm gonna go. Um, and maybe if that feels light, I'll up it a little bit, but that's gonna be the start point. So I'm gonna fix the band and be right back. All right, so I've tightened up the band now. You can see the band coming into tension right at the beginning. So let's have a look how much band tension there is. Oh, come on, what's going on? I took it up to 19 kilos. I expected more band tension. Really, Ryan? Ah, oh, yes, very intelligent. I expected more. You know who does expect more of you, Ryan? Todd Hutchins, the engineer, coach. Uh, he'd be ashamed right now. Um, I might tighten it up just a touch more and see how that affects things. You're an idiot! You're an idiot! You're an idiot! You're an idiot! Right. Have a look. Twenty point five five. Oh, please stop! Put us out of our misery. All right, so the extra weight is on. I've done the test. It was peaking at around twenty-eight and a half kilos of uh, force required on this one. But after each set, I'll check the the peak scale anyway. And uh, yeah, so gonna enter time lapse mode for this bad boy, but. I'll have a chat with you guys after it's all finished. I'm gonna do right arm first, then we'll swap and do the left.
Alrighty guys, that is the eight sets of three done. I don't know if you can see it, but there was a peak force of 30.4 kilos uh, during those eight sets. Um, honestly, feels good, feels healthy, elbow feels fine. Uh, speed day's always over like that. Uh, but I have a good feeling about this Wednesday's 100 max. I feel like it's gonna go a long way past. Continuing the trend, it's gonna go a long way past. Um, on this new vector um, It's really hot. That's what it is. It's really hot in here uh, Summer's starting to ramp up So I'm gonna get some water and come back and do left All right back got some water With some sugar as well, and uh, I want to see if I can do it I always used to do this in high school to try to impress the girls tell me if this impresses you or not, but uh, we got an apple It's not cut and I say to you, you want half an apple? I go, there you go. Here, half for you, half for me. Every time I did this at school, people thought I was lying and that I had it pre-cut. But anyway, half an apple. Mm. All right, guys. <coughs> All right, guys. We are back and we're here with the left arm. Now, my wonder at max on this previously was embarrassingly only 25 kilos. So we've got to be sensible. I've dropped weight. And we've got a peak force now of 18 kilos. So that's pretty high percentage when it comes to um, relative to my one at max. But anyway, that's what we're going to hit for speed on left. Eight sets of three starts now. Alright guys, left, done. Uh, interestingly on that one, I was watching my peak force between each set. At, it, for the first five sets, it was peaked at 19.5. Um, and on my sixth or seventh set, not sure which one, it jumped up to 20.45. It was because I got a little bit more aggressive in the movement during that. So, good example of how speed day it, uh, aggression changes the amount of force going through your elbow uh, for a very short moment in time. Anyway, feeling it today. It's hot in this shed. I feel like I'm in an oven. Um, it's humid and it's hot. I'm sweating. Um, but that's the, the specifics done. And now from here, it's my regular superset and then we'll finish off with the bobbly weights. Alrighty guys, it is uh, superset time. You know the drill. Wrist curls, reverse wrist curls, wrist rise, uh, normal weights. Let's see what the reps come out as. All right, ready, go. Alrighty guys, that's done. Uh, a little bit of craziness there, but there was a lot of lactic acids then. Um, I upped the reps compared to what I usually do. Same weight as I always have. This time I did sets of 60 on the wrist curls. 
sets of 30 on the reverse wrist curls and sets of 25 on the wrist rise. So uh, in keeping with the principles that Todd has me working with, all of my auxiliary movements um, are scalable mostly in reps. I will go up in weight in time, but for the most part, this is enough weight to achieve what we're after. Um, and I'm upping the reps. High blood pressure, high lactic acid tolerance. Uh, I love it. I love it. Anyway, <laughs> good times, but that is a seriously pump. Hope you enjoyed the... Uh... Alright guys, bobbly weights time. Let's round out this session. <laughs> Fifty-five. All right, set number two, mid grip. Fifty-five is the goal. and swing that bounce and swing was crazy I don't know if you could see that in the time lapse it was hitting me in the knuckles it was going crazy but you hear I'm breathing heavy the good news is I did a lot of reps I did 18 reps before the weight came undone and then I just did 55 again after tying it up so 18 30 second break, then 55. Alright guys, <clears throat> final set of the session. Close grip, 55 reps. Hopefully no bands come under. There it is, 55. Feeling good, guys. Feeling real good. Alrighty, guys, there we have it. The session is done and dusted. Speed day, uh, only five weeks, I think, to go until slotty. I've lost count of days and weeks. But as you guys saw, all numbers in the volume sense today went up in the supersets, also in the bobbly weights. Uh, I'm at a standard now where, where my numbers, reportable numbers, are really, really, really good. Very good, very good. I couldn't be happier to be honest. I'm, I feel like I'm only just still tapping into the potential of what my body can do. And um, it's very humbling, honestly, it's very humbling. Climbing this ladder or arm wrestling ranks worldwide is uh, a real joy and I feel like we're at the point right now where it's about to be a new chapter open. Um, Zlodita coming up is going to be a, a great moment no matter what happens. Uh, I'm going there to win it. Um, but win, lose or draw. Uh, I know where my pathway is at the moment. I feel amazing. And one of the best things is I feel like I'm still a long way from my potential. And uh, it gives me a lot of confidence. Um, just in the overall story. It gives me a lot of confidence. The overall story, not only in PALs, Lottie, Top 8 pursuits, but in North American WAL pursuits. Um, if you didn't know it, my goal firmly is to be considered one of the best arm wrestlers. I want to reach the world number one rank for my weight category. And uh, I want to be in that debate. I want to be in that debate of who's the um, best arm wrestler on the planet. And I've had that goal right from the beginning. It's just slowly unfolded. And it's slowly become more public. 
and uh, for the first time in a long time I feel like I'm getting there uh, I did it in the national sense over a few years climbed that ladder and it was very enjoyable but I have to tell you right now climbing the global ladder is even more enjoyable and um, I know that a lot of this has been accelerated because of you guys uh, by me being able to have pound for pound arm wrestling as a career it's enabled me to train harder um, with more precision and more efficiency than I've ever been able to before if I had to have been working a job I get to think I get to live and breathe arm wrestling all day every day and uh, training under the best guidance from from Todd and John and Devon and Travis has really been amazing and all those guys have put in a lot of input so um, I'm super aware of how much I need to thank you guys the the viewers because like I said you guys are enabling all of this um, it's amazing anyway guys that's all a bit sentimental here today but oh, it's a good feeling it's a really good feeling knowing where my numbers are now and what Todd is telling me based on these numbers um, Todd said he's coaching me to be stronger than he's ever been in his whole, whole entire journey. And um, he thinks I'm showing all of the key signs that I'm gonna achieve that. So, that's so exciting. <laughs> oh. And side note, how good is it seeing John Brzezink active in the sport again? Uh, I was talking to him this morning and he sounds different. He sounds different. I've never heard John sound the way he is now. He sounds hungry and excited about pulling again, which is awesome. And um, yeah, I think early next year before before WAL season kicks off, before top eight season kicks off for John, um, I'm gonna make my way over to the US and do some dedicated training with both John and Todd. Uh, we'll all meet at John's place and for a week or two, just uh, really train hard. And uh, yeah, it's amazing. Anyway, guys, thank you so much again. Uh, I love all of you. You're amazing. And um, I'll see you soon. One at Max Day, just around the corner. Yes, that's a bet!